And welcome back. Off the top at 5.30, it is the eve of new leadership in Lansing. Tomorrow, the new session begins, and Democrats will be in charge of both chambers and the governor's office for the first time in four decades. Political reporter Rick Albin joining us now to talk about what we can expect in the first few days, Rick. You know, this is always an interesting time. Every four years after we have those senatorial elections, of course, the House elections, it's kind of like the first day of school because you've got all these people that are coming back. They're going to different offices in many cases, uh, and you've got a whole bunch of new kids because a bunch of new faces are going to Lansing. So tomorrow is going to be a whole lot of, uh, of ceremony, getting everybody kind of acclimated. But what they've done already is that they've had orientation, they've started to select positions, what they're going to be in terms of where they will sit on those committees, and of course they have changed a lot of rooms. Now one of the things that changed this year is you know when they built the House Office Building, they made the district stick with the same office, okay? So anytime you needed to go see your legislator, you would go to the same office, except now they've redrawn the line. So mm. some of those legislators are moving because their district number has changed, and so they're in a different district. I was over there today. They're still moving furniture around. I think that was probably in leadership offices. A lot of folks moving into the Capitol. Uh, Senator Winnie Brinks will be moving over to the Senate Majority Leader's office, Senator uh, Eric Nesbitt in the Minority Leader's office. So there are a lot of things going on. Uh, there'll be receptions. There'll be a lot of folks in there wishing everybody well. There were people picking up tickets so they could be sitting up tomorrow. So tomorrow there, there's a lot of that kind of ceremonial stuff before we really get down to it. And when they do get down to it, Rick, what kind of legislation are they looking at to start things off? Yeah, it's, uh, kind of speculative, Brian, and we'll know a whole lot more after the governor lays out her agenda on the 25th. But if there were two things I would guess on that they might get started with pretty early, one would be moving the primary forward, the presidential primary. They've already talked about this. It's something the DNC wants to do. I know Democrats want to do it. I think you can move some Republicans on that, uh, but you may not have to. You've got 56 votes in the House, and I think you should be fine there. So that could be one of the things that we would see. Speculating, And the other is the repeal of the pension tax. They were talking about doing away with that pension tax last fall, even before Democrats had taken control, something Democrats want to do. Republicans are going to say they want a broader repeal for all retirement savings accounts, which I don't think they're going to get. And I don't know that they'll be able to hold out for it. But I think those are a couple of the things. But the bigger agenda, I don't think we'll know. I mean, there's some national considerations about the agenda, too, depending on what happens yeah. for the race for president. Uh, and I, I don't think we know all of that yet. So the agenda will be a bit of a question mark, but I think we may see those two things. All right. All right. More, more tomorrow? You bet. Thank you, Rick.